My question is to the Minister of Long-Term Care. Speaker, the good people of the Canadian Armed Forces confirmed what families and workers have known for ages. Our long-term care system is broken and seniors are suffering. William, a retirement residence worker in my riding, told me, and I quote, what amazes me is that people are acting as if this was a new thing. This hell has been going on for decades. Julie, a Life Labs courier, said that what she sees in long-term care homes is maddening and saddening. There didn't seem to be enough staff to properly care for people. Staff shortages and senior neglect are not new issues. They go back to conservative privatization of long-term care. The Liberals upheld and continued that privatization. It's just part of the LibCon League's playbook. Speaker, why is the minister pretending that they just realized our long-term care system is broken when workers and families Question. have been begging the government for help and sounding the alarm for years? Minister Long-Term Care. Thank you, Speaker. And the member is accurate about the staffing crisis, there is no doubt, and that had been going on for many years. Our government was committed to addressing and fixing these issues, which is why there was a dedicated ministry created to long-term care. And in less than a year, we had already begun to Order. address long-standing issues in, in, the, in the sector, including redevelopment, building capacity that had been ignored and neglected by the previous government, supported by the opposition. The member for Windsor West come board. An expert panel to understanding how we move forward with this. Our government had, was committed, is committed, will be committed. We will make progress on this. We will advance long-term care. The system was broken, and we.